<laughs> Good morning, people of Rockbout and the general YouTube population. I just woke up, not really. I woke up at 6 a.m. and basically my parents were here for three days. They were getting ready to leave. They left. My grandfather drove them to the airport. Mom and dad, if you're watching this, I love you and I hope you had a great flight. Um, and today you are going to get an inside scoop into my everyday life. So I'm gonna get showered and then I'll prob properly introduce this day to you. See you in a bit. I literally have to leave pretty much right now to make sure that I get a good seat at America on Record. Um, yeah, so I have America on Record first and that is basically an American music history course and that's for like three hours almost no two hours um, and then I have a intertextuality um, course or yeah course lecture and that one is compulsory so is America on record actually and I did have a minor class today called theorizing diversity but since we're having presentation soon it's just a consultation um, hours type of thing so our actual class is cancelled so I have those two and then we'll see what kind of errands and homework I'll have to do once I get back see you Alexandra and I went to this bar I got chocolate croissant a coffee and she got, I don't know what those are called. Do you know what those are called? Rice cakes. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Chocolate rice cakes. <laughs> Carla also wanted me to show you guys her lunch. <laughs> what you got in there, girl? Uh, avocado, hummus, and avocado. An avocado. <laughs> Double avocado, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Eight smack. <laughs> So every week I plan my schedule in a daily planner basically and this is today and I'm currently filming this day <laughs> in the live vlog. I have a meeting session for one of my classes uh, that I told you guys about but I will not be attending that since we already know what we're going to do for the presentation. I've texted my landlord about moving out. I need to watch a movie for the theorizing diversity class tonight. I need to do Fox Humans of Rod Bowd thing, which I still need to figure out. And then I gotta do an article for Nux, which is the magazine for our study association class. So I'm gonna take you with me to do that. And the sun is gone today already, which is a super sad time because spring sunshine will be replaced by rain for now. Anyways, I should probably show more of my face. That's not something that I usually do on vlogs. Um, I am basically done on campus. I don't have food to cook tonight yet, so I still need to buy that. And then I need to... Oh, I need to do yoga because I didn't do yoga this morning. And I didn't do yoga yesterday because my parents were there. And there was just no time or space. So I'll be heading home and doing all the stuff that I gotta do. If it's not too late, maybe I'll have to drop by the city to um, hand in a gift that my parents brought from Hong Kong for um, some people here. So maybe I'll do that as well. See you in a bit.
is what the hair looks like after the bike on a windy day, but I'm home now and I just warmed up some food. It's an Indonesian food, Balinese to be exact, that my dad brought for me. So here is to dad. As a promise that I was gonna finish it, I am going to finish it now. Well, continuing to listen to the podcast. This one is actually really good. I do recommend listening. I usually listen to um, music on the bike with just one in-ear on, so it's not like too dangerous. But recently I've been discovering productivity podcasts and that's really great because it's not just like forcing you to, you know, do things and motivate you to do things. It's also doing it mindfully and to make sure that you don't freak yourself out, which is really important in university. It's never gonna focus. As you can see, I've changed into some appropriate gym attire and I'm just going to do yoga in my living room area of the room, but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit first and get rid of this lipstick because that is not ideal for working out. See you in a bit. Okay, Alexandra hates it when I record screens with more screens, but since I wanna narrate this, she will have to excuse me. <laughs> So just go to yoga with Adrian. My laptop is still waking up, so she's a little bit slow. Gonna close the other tabs that I don't need. And she has a bunch of different things that you can choose from. My favorite is the sunrise one, I think, to do in the morning. That one is really good because it still trains you and it prepares you and it energizes you. She also has this dedicate challenge thing. Shoulder stand, relaxation, brain power, perspective, a bunch of different things that you can choose from. Up your connect. Sunrise yoga is the one that I do in the morning. Oh, I don't know. Creativity sounds good actually. For mind, but that's for beginners. No. You know what? Let's do for the future because I feel like there's a lot of things we need to do in the future and this will prepare us, hopefully. I always keep my beautiful pink yoga mat by my bed and I'm gonna use this little area right here to quickly do some yoga before I do the rest of my work. I think yoga is a great way to unwind the brain and get a little meditation in. And, um, ooh, she is dark in this lighting. And my favorite um, yoga instructor on YouTube is Yoga with Adrian. I do highly recommend her. She does a lot of like shorter things. So if you're, you know, an on the go type of person, which most students are, you'll be able to follow her. Um, routines or videos and not spend too much time. Also, my apologies for the mess in the room. Still need to clean after my parents came here and we're in the process of packing and you will see more of that later. So I'll see you after yoga. So that was the look inside my life. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you gained some insight into what a typical student life is like and yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!